So my name is Ashley Misen. I'm a co-owner director of Moltax Limited, based in Woolworth Industrial Estate and Over Hampshire. Uh, my name is Mark Cumberland. Um, I am one of the area sales managers for Matsura Machinery Limited, covering the southeast of England. Um, I'm Jordan Warner. I, uh, I am the operator here at Moltax for this uh, MAM 7235V. So we've recently purchased a Matsura MAM 7235V to add to our fleet of machine tools. Um, we decided really that we were going to sort of step outside the box and think about something different and uh, sort of ventured out into the market. Basically made the decision that the Matsura was the machine for us to take to the next level. Um, well, the, the, the story of Moltax uh, probably goes back quite a few years to be fair. Um, I've known one of the owners of the business for um, probably approaching 10 years now. Um, he's a former Matsura user. Um, obviously then joined up with Ashley to create their own company, Moltax. Um, and really we sort of followed their progress uh, over the sort of like prevailing years and got to the point really where, you know, they were, they, they were looking to expand into maybe a different type of uh, machining from maybe a different type of customer base. And, and that's really where Matsura sort of came to the party and being able to um, show them that there are different ways of manufacturing to be more efficient um, and ultimately to be to be more successful. So Moltax vision as an engineering component supplier really is we, we want to be the number one choice for anybody to come to to supply their part and since the installation of the MAM has really sort of fulfilled our confidence in the fact that there are machine tools out there that can basically get the right first time mentality and we've got a really, really highly skilled um, programming force here um, and they, they love programming the machine at the moment because of the bits that they can get off of there. Well, one of the main things really was, um, I guess, uh, the ability for the machine to, to, to run for lots and lots of hours unmanned. Um, Moltax currently have multi-pallet machines, um, which allowed them to do a certain amount of unmanned running. But with the Matsura, it really allowed them to it starts to exploit every hour of every single day to be able to run from a, you know, from a Friday evening right the way through to, to the Sunday and potentially the Monday Monday morning, and really just just get the hours out of the machine that the machine can uh, can, can use. So uh, at point of order for the machine, we obviously uh, had uh, big choices to make in the spec of the additions. So we we added to the tool library from the from the base machine to go up to 350. Uh, you can go up to 330 which I possibly may do on the next one. Uh, we also have 70 bar fruit tool, tool coolant which, uh, which is really good for tool life actually. We've got fruit tool coolant on our other machines but not quite so powerful. Um, this is, um, we can definitely see evidence in the, the tool life on that machine. Yeah, so we, we will quite often have customers that probably, you know, will be watching this video at some point in the future and looking at their workload and go, well, I haven't really got the right sort of volume or I haven't got the right mix. You've got to remember the Matsura is designed around an economical batch size of one and any multiple of one upwards. As long as there is some repetition to it, or some you know, uh, family type components that can run through the similar sort of setup, fixture setup, then the, 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 the MAM 7235V is an ideal choice. So efficiency here at Moltex is something that we take really seriously. We try and maximise our spindle uptime. Um, of course, nobody wants to pay for fresh air cutting or, or downtime. Um, another thing that we've seen, or the benefits from the Matsura that we're getting back is that efficiency. Um, we use the rims so we can see our uptime. We actually shut down over Christmas last year for, for a whole week and, and loaded up all 32 pallets and actually managed to secure over 100 hours running. Uh, yeah, so when we opened up conversations with Mark Cumberland from Matsuri, he sort of um, made a joke that the machine would be like a vending machine for us and, and to be honest, that's exactly what it has become. So we can now prove jobs out by day and then keep proving jobs set on the machine and also uh, you know long order jobs we keep set on the machine that large tooling magazines there's no breakdowns whatsoever which is what we are finding on our other mills and yeah basically now we just use the production planner as a call off which is absolutely fantastic so we typically um, have a look at the job and how many we've got to, to make of that during that time and um, whatever work we have evolved in it and the cycle times on those and then through 
um, the RIM software we can schedule a certain amount of pallets to say tend to that part, tend to this part um, and then sort of manage that throughout the week, throughout the night, throughout the weekend. I mean bearing in mind obviously Moltax are quite a, quite a young company so for them to invest in this type of uh, capacity, this type of technology was a, was a, was a big step to be fair. Um, you know typically a lot of Matsura customers start off with maybe the smaller MX 520 as a single table machine but today the marketplace has changed you know we can sell this type of technology into companies that are less than five years old they might be a one or a two man band and it's when they start looking at maybe having or purchasing two single table five axis machines suddenly you know you could buy one of these for maybe a little bit more money not vast amounts more but it's the it's that, it comes back to that ability of being able to run it all day and all night. So, so the process of uh, actually putting pen to paper for the, for the man was a, a long drawn out journey I would say and uh, so since signing on the dotted line really our, our experience of Matsura to date has been great. Um, there was some very very small issues when putting the machine in which they jumped on and sorted it out the training really, uh, predominantly we are all high line, which was a huge factor also on moving to the MAM was obviously a FANUC controller that I was cautious about, um, but the transition was great, the, um, the application support was fantastic and um, yeah, all in all really pleased.